okay uh, good to see you guys my name is Satson uh, in today's video I want to take you through um, and talk about how we can use arguments or parameters in Python functions okay so we're looking at arguments or what we call we call them or parameters uh, by the way these two words are used interchangeably to mean the same thing okay um, it happens to uh, to be one of those words that you use in, in a different scenario or in a different situation you have to use arguments and in, in, in another situation you have to use parameters so you will see how best you can use these uh, to make your uh, uh, your functions customizable okay so you want to customize your functions All right so I have a video on um, how to uh, make functions in Python um, or how to define functions in Python uh, you will see the link uh, on the top uh, right corner of your screen okay so let's talk about these uh, arguments and parameters All right uh, so we're gonna have a function here and you know in Python when we are defining a function we use the def keyword and then we give it a name and then we want this name to be descriptive sort of like telling us what this function is going to be doing all right so let's say in this case we're going to add uh, two numbers so we say add okay and then in this uh, uh instance we don't have anything in the brackets and so and then we put in this uh colon and then once i press enter in this text editor it automatically indents for me but uh, in some other editors you might not have the same privilege so you have to press in one two three four times uh, the space bar okay that is the recommended uh, indentation in python right so what it simply means in this uh, function anything that is below this function definition because this first line line number three is the function definition and so anything that is below this one which is ind indented uh, Python is going to say, okay, this is uh, the block of this function. Okay, so this is the code that you want to be executed. Each time we're going to use the name add with these brackets, uh, everything that is below here is going to be executed. So let's see how we can do it. We want to print 2 plus uh, and, and another number, 2 plus 5. Okay, let's say we this function is just printing two numbers, uh, it's just going to add two numbers. Uh, when we want to use this function as you guys remember we have to call the function so how do we call the function we write the name of the function and then we put in parentheses like this okay just like how we defined it okay and then once we run this as you can see guys down here i have a seven i have a seven uh i can call this function as many times as i want uh i can still go down here and uh you know you write the function name and brackets and still run it and as you can see now i have two servers down here okay so uh, we can call this function as many times as you want right that's that's the beauty of functions you know like you can just define something in one place and then you can always use it uh, wherever you want in your code all right so uh right now this function is not doing much it's just adding two numbers and this is kind of you know rigid it's not you know, what users might want you want you might want a function whereby user users will actually add two numbers for themselves okay so they will put whatever values they want and still add those numbers so how do we go about that All right so we introduce the concept of variables uh, that you already know so we say x is equal to two let's say that and then y is equal to five All right i'm just using these uh, variable x and y because that's what we used to be using right you can use in whatever variable name that you might have in mind but you have to stick by the concept of you know naming variables you cannot use a number you cannot start with a number and stuff like that all right so let's say x plus y right uh, because this is what what this function is doing uh there's a typo here all right so x and y this function is still adding two numbers but now we have introduced uh, the concept of variable so let's see what this function will do for us we're still calling the same function and when we run it uh, we still have the seven seven okay uh, so it's working all right so how do we make it you know that each time we call the function the user can pass in whatever number they want okay so now we have to remove this x and y from here and then we go up into these parentheses and then we say x comma y notice that i've separated these two uh, variables with a comma and i've passed them into this function definition so when you pass this function into the function definition when you're actually defining the function that's when we call them parameters 
okay so now i have two parameters and, and what's going to happen is i'm going to add these two parameters it says if i try and run this it says type error add this add function takes exactly two arguments right it takes exactly two arguments but zero given on line seven let's see on line seven oh okay i'm trying to call this function without the parameters all right so right now i have to pass in numbers right so now i can pass in two and five like i was doing and then and let's see what happens okay so when i run this function now boom now i have a seven now i have a seven now it's more customizable now the user can pass in whatever number they want oh so we can still get 100 comma 100 okay you're supposed to separate the two values with a comma and then when we run this now we have a 200 so i can call it multiple times without running into any issues all right so um now when i'm in this environment of calling the function these two uh, numbers that I, I, I pass into the function are what we call function arguments because they are the real values, they are the real values of, this, uh, of these parameters. Okay. These are just placeholders but these are actual values that you pass in when you are calling the function. So this is the difference. These are called the parameters and these are called the arguments. However, uh, you know, in programming some people just, you know, choose to uh, stick to the word argument and some guys some you know some people would choose to use parameters yeah, they are used just like interchangeable All right so this is the first thing that we have to learn and we have learned that today uh, that you can define a function and then you can pass in arguments or parameters into the function and uh, that makes your function more customized right uh, more user friendly it's no longer rigid you know because it's, it's, it's actually applicable now people can actually add two numbers using this function all right thank you for your time i hope to see you in our next video when we're going to discuss about types of these uh, arguments or parameters that you can use in python functions all right um, checking out see you in our next video